Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have something a little bit different for you guys. So we're gonna talk about drills. That's right, drills. Regular old drills. So as you guys may already know, Drills come in many shapes and forms. You have special drills, you have rhinestones, you have uh, regular drills, AB drills, jellies, all kinds of stuff. Now, I have some regular drills here, which I'm going to show you. I mean, I'm going to get you guys down in the business so you can see all these drills. Um, don't mind the trash in here. It came with the kit. So, these are regular drills. Nothing real fancy about them. They do twinkle and sparkle. Uh, the difference between square and round. Square gives you more detail and kind of twinkles. Where round gives you more of the sparkle and a little less detail. Just in my opinion. So, these are round drills that I'm currently using for my canvas that is the LED swans. No, I'm not finished with it yet. Don't judge me. So, those are regular drills. Now, like I said, drills come in many shapes and forms. And for those folks that are always curious, how do I enhance a kit that, you know, doesn't come with the enhancements? Well, first things first, you want to find your friendly neighborhood drill dealer, as I like to call her. We call her T-Mall. T-Mall is actually named Tina. Hi, Tina. So, Tina over at DP with Sparklers has a website. She just opened it not too long ago. She has a website where you can get all the goodness of the special drills. You can get everything from glow in the dark. You can get uh, sparklers for squares. You can get rhinestones. You can get what she calls jellies. You can also get AB drills. So, here are some different types of the drills that she sells in her shop. I've gotten these all from T-Mall. She's the only person I know that sells these drills. If there's anybody else, I don't know about them. I only shop with T-Mall because I know the quality is there and she's going to get she she's going to hook your girl up, okay? It's not expensive to get these extra drills. I'm not sure, but I think she goes by the acrylic code and not the DMC code. Don't quote me on that. If she happens to watch this video, I will pin her comment to the top to if she answers that question for me, which I'll let her now but these are just six of the different types of drills that she offers in her web on her website sparklers for squares as you know round and squares are different sizes so for rounds you're getting a 2.8 millimeter diamond for squares you're getting a 2.5 millimeter diamond now the only company out there that i know of that uses the same size square and round is of course treasure studios arts their rounds are 2.5 and their squares are also 2.5. But every other company across the board does 2.8 for their rounds and 2.5 for their squares. Now you're probably wondering, how do you how do they fit together? Like how does a square fit with the round? Because as you can see, and I'm gonna pour these out so you can see them, on the back here it says Sparklers Original. So the original, uh, I don't believe is four squares. Now she does have some four squares. So these here are sparklers for, and they say it on there, you got to focus on it, sparklers for squares original. These here are the sparklers original. So as you can see, they look like rhinestones, they shimmer and shine, and they're beautiful. Absolutely love enhancing my drills with, or my kits with these. So they do come in like little bags like this. I think they come in a Ziploc bags now, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, my last order came in a bag like this. So, we're going to keep a couple of them in there so I can show you the difference. So, there's the original, and then we're going to pull out one of the ones for squares so I can show you the size difference. Let me get my pen. All right. So, as you can see... This is the original. This is for squares. No. Yeah. This is the this is the one for squares. This is the one for rounds. So as you can see, there is a size difference. So make sure, the first thing you want to do is make sure that whenever you're going to get, like I said, the small one's for squares. And then the other one, the bigger one is for the original, which is for rounds. So when you're ordering, if you're doing a square kit, you are going to want to try to find on her website the sparklers uh, sparklers for squares. So it'll say just like this, 
Sparklers for Squares Original or Sparklers Original. If you're doing a square kit, obviously you're going to want to find the one for squares. If you're doing a round kit, you can do the Sparklers Original. She also has something called Glow Glass. Now, Glow Glass, from as far as I can tell, Glow Glass is glow in the dark. Let me finish cleaning this up here. So glow glass is glow in the dark. So there's two different types of glow glass that I've seen from Tmall. There's the type like this, which is 5200 glow, which of course, you know, glows in the dark. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it in there, but you're probably not. So you have the regular ones and then you have the pearl glow glass. So I have sparklers for squares, pearl glow glass, and then I have 5200 glow glass. She should have both of these in her shop because this is where I got both of them. Um, so when you're enhancing, you have to figure out whether or not, and I use these for Into Wonderland, and then I use these on, I believe, uh, that Chateau Lo, uh, Hate, that canvas I did for Citrusa. So the glow in the dark, these ones are like the, like a regular, regular drills. So as you can see, they're regular round drills and then sparklers for squares. The square ones look like this. They look like, uh, almost like rhinestones. And it says glow glass on them, okay? So then you have, and this is just telling you the different types of diamonds that you can get for enhancing your kits. And then we'll talk about enhancing your kits. Then you have these. These are rhinestones, or not rhinestones. Yeah, they're rhinestones, sorry. So rhinestones are a little bit different. They're silver on the bottom. And they're, they kind of go into the special drill category. But you can use them on a, a regular painting if you want. So as you can see, there's that hint of purple and they shimmer white. So when you're using this on a kit, like the kits that I just finished from a Crystal Canvas Art US, um, Amy over there was the one that'll hook you up with the full rhinestone kits. This is one of the rhinestones, this is one of the packs of rhinestones that I actually got from Tmall. But also if you get a full rhinestone kit, Amy over at Crystal Canvas Art will have diamonds that look just like this. Now these aren't typically used to enhance kits. These are usually used on kits that are full or partial rhinestone, which is hard to, it's not, it's not hard. It's rare to find a kit that's full rhinestones, but Crystal Canvas Art is here in the U.S. and she does sell full rhinestone kits. She also sells partials and special drills depending on the project that you have. So she has like clocks and stuff and mirrors and all you guys can check her out i will link all these peoples down below okay so these are rhinestones so that's the difference between a rhinestone and say a sparkler a sparkler looks more like a white diamond rhinestone type look rhinestones themselves can also have colors like purple and green and blue and all that fun jazz and then of course here's our regular glow in the dark and the only way that you will know that these glow is one t-mall does label them very well rhinestones don't glow in the dark so if you got a kit with rhinestones and you want to enhance that kit using sparklers or sparkler because or uh rhinestones only come in round i don't believe they come in square so uh you would have to get original sparklers if you're doing a full rhinestone kit but t-mall i believe does sell the extras of that um and then you have jellies now jellies sorry i have like square rhinestones all over the place Jellies are these ones here. So you have 5,200, and these are for squares because they're both squares. So you have 5,200, and you have 666, which are my favorite DMC code. Well, this one's my favorite DMC code. And as you can see, it doesn't look like your typical 666, does it? It looks kind of like jelly. It does have the iridescent coating. So these are ABs. So AB stands for Aurora uh, Borealis, which is an iridescent coating that is put on top of the drill, okay? That is on top of these drills, and they're kind of, they're opaque, but they have a little bit of translucentness to them where you can kind of see through them. They look like jellies, kind of, almost like jelly candy. So that's how you can tell if they're like regular diamonds or not. So if you see... These both are 5,200, right? One's jelly and one's glow. One's round and one's square. But the jellies are a little bit clearer than the ones like here, okay? So she does also sell jellies. Now, whatever you decide to enhance your project with, I'm gonna show you how I go about enhancing my project. And of course, I, I can't leave these folks out. Diamond Dots also does sell uh, enhancement drills as well that you can buy extra. These, this is from their five pack of metallic. 
So you have like this black with that rainbow on there that's gorgeous. You have this silver with the gold on there that's gorgeous. You have this, whoop, about to drop it. This black with the silver on it that's gorgeous. You have gold, which is gorgeous. And then you have silver, which is white, which is gorgeous. So all these, all these different types of drills. So how do you know what to use when enhancing a kit? Well, that depends on you. Everybody has their own taste. Now, this is just a guide. This is to guide you. This is not, this is the only way to do it. And you have to do it this way. No, 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 no. This is just a guide to tell you how I go about enhancing my kits. So I pulled a random kit out. Now, for once, I didn't pull out a Diamond Art Club or a well-known place. Um, I pulled out this kit. It is a kit that I unboxed. I don't remember where I got it from. I want to say it's Sigma or something. Um, but this little kit is a kit that I chose. I chose a random kit. I chose a cheapo kit because this is one of those kits that didn't cost a whole lot. But what if you get this kit and you want to do enhancements to it? There's a couple of different things that you can do. Now, there's a lot of green in this kit. So my first thing that I do when I enhance a kit is I close my eyes and then look at it. What's the first thing you saw when you opened it? When you opened your eyes. That's what you want to enhance. So when I close my eyes and open it, the first thing I see is this little guy's hat. So I'm thinking, oh, I want to enhance his hat. Now you can get, and this is a round kit. So you can get uh, some AB drills and enhance some of the, the green around his hat. Okay, cool. Or you can get some sparklers. Where'd they go? There they go. You can get some sparklers and do it for the top of the hat where it's shining right here, where it's a, kind of like a reflection. You can use these sparklers to spice that up on the top there. Um, and then when you look at his hat, what else are you seeing? You're seeing the pencil. So if you wanted to say use something like this, the black ABs, you can use the black ABs to do the pencil, okay? Now, it's on you how many enhancement drills you want to put into your kit it's your kit you do your thing boo boo you put on how many you want to put on if you want the whole kit to be blinged out you make the whole kit blinged out okay it just depends on the person okay so for me for this kit it has 27 colors it is a lot of confetti and for me confetti is good because when you have confetti it makes it easier to hide those special drills in there now the special drills are used to enhance the kit so they will make the other colors pop out even more and they will twinkle a little bit brighter than the original drills that were came, that came with your kit some places like diamond art club will have a b drills already but if you want to do more a b's that's when you go see tima Again, her name is Tina, but we call her T-Maw because that's what our grandkids call her, and that's what I call her, so we're going to call her T-Maw for this video. T-Maw will hook you up. Um, a lot of the times, you just go to her site, which is DP with Sparklers. She has product categories. You can get stickers, tools for diamond painting. She has a new product section, and then she has drills. You would just go over to drills. You would, uh, sorry, that new product section kind of caught my eye, and I was like, so what's in there? So she has like ABs, 150. She has pink ABs, mahogany ABs, sea glass or sea green. She has all kinds of ABs in her shop, okay? So you pick out whatever would look best. So if she does go by the acrylic code, you would pick out the drill color that looks closest to what you want it to be. So like for his hat here, J is 3822. I don't know what color that is. But I see here it's a brighter color. So I might use, say, my sparklers for that bright color. And then the darker green is $8.98. I don't know, you know, in my head, I know it's a green color. It looks like a darker green. So I might go DMC. Oh, she does go by DMC. Okay. So she has DMC 700 on here. She And she has her stuff labeled very well. So you can't mess it up. Like, you literally can't mess it up because everything is just labeled so well. So it does say DMC. So she looks like she goes by the DMC code. And you can get rhinestones, which are the crystals. They sometimes are called crystals. And what you can do is you can take and say, I want to do four, en four enhancement colors. What are the four items in the picture that you want to enhance? Let's go with the hat, the pencil, and let's say her hair bow. Those are going to be four different colors. Why? Because you're not going to do the entire hat in rhinestones. Or you're not going to do the entire hat in ABs. You can do a couple, like I would say maybe eight or nine drills in the dark green. Four drills in the, the rhinestone. And then for her, her bow, 
You can do like six to eight in each side of the bow. And then the pencil, you can do the entire pencil because there's not a whole lot of that pencil and that will help make that part of the picture stand out. Essentially, where you, where you want to go with your enhancements is somewhere where you want to draw the viewer's attention to that section of the canvas. So say you're working on a kid and it has like a big face in the middle and the rest of it is dark. You would use in, uh, enhancement drills possibly around the main object of that picture to draw the person's focus to the main object. And it makes it sparkle a little bit brighter, okay? This is what, you know, companies mean when they say do what makes you sparkle. I'm just saying. So you want to go for the, the major points in the canvas. You want to draw the attention to the hedgehogs on the pencil. You can also enhance the thread thing here. If I were going to enhance this, I would probably use some of the gold like I have here. I would probably use some of that around the edge of this. And then even for the white parts, I might use some of these. And then I can get some like blue ABs and spice it up if I want to. But you don't want to go overboard, okay? Because you can do that too. You can if you want to. Again, this is it's your world. You do your thing, boo-boo. But if you don't want to go overboard and you just want a little bit of something to spice it up, literally something that has like this, like this is a 30 by 40, okay? So I don't want to do too much spicing up because there's not like a whole lot of room here. So I would literally choose four colors, choose four items to enhance, and boom, that's it. You don't really need to enhance the outside parts because that's not where the viewer is looking. The viewer of your kit is going to look at the hedgehogs. But you want to draw their eyes to the hedgehogs. And if you close your eyes and the first thing you see is this little guy's hat, then you want to draw attention to that hat. So then the, they make a clean sweep over the image with, okay, starting at the hat and then going down and noticing the pencil, the threader, or the, the spool of thread, and then her hair bow. You, you want the viewer to focus on that main part of your kit. So say like I did symbols of heroism for my dad and I'm going to try to find a picture and have it pop up. Symbol of heroism had AB drills in it, but I use sparklers to enhance the number two on the helmet of the firefighter's gear. Why? Because the helmet is usually in white. When you see a firefighter, if you close your eyes and look, the one of the first things you see is the number on their helmet. If they have a number, some of them, I don't know if they all have hel numbers or not, but I know when my dad was a firefighter, he had a number on his helmet. That was always the first thing I seen whenever I would see him in gear was the number on his helmet. So I wanted that to stand out. Um, so when it comes to your kit, you just want their primary focus to be on what the primary focus is of your kit. Now, if you wanna go and put drills up here, it's gonna be like all over the place, but you, you kind of want to stick to one spot of your canvas. So like if you're trying to draw the, the viewer's attention in, maybe go from less to more. So like I want, if I, if I didn't enhance the hedgehogs and I didn't want to enhance this, I would enhance around them to give it more of a, hey, look here. Because a person is more inclined to look at something shiny and sparkly if it shines brighter than the rest of them. So like if you're in a crowd of people, and you have an umbrella and nobody else does, everybody's going to focus on that umbrella. Same concept. Hopefully I'm not confusing you with all this rambling. But it's the same concept. You want to draw the viewer's attention to the main concept of your image. So say if you're doing a religious painting and you're doing a cross, then you would highlight the cross with whatever drills you want, whatever enhancement drills, whether it be A, B's, jellies, you know. When deciding on that, that is completely up to you. If you have stuff like in this kit here, if I would say wanted to, like I said about enhancing his hat here, as you can see, the, sh the point of view is the sun is up here, which is shining down. So if the sun is up here and it's shining down. That's what is causing this part of his hat to be a different color. So what you want to do is you want to take a light color. Boom, you put it there. So the sun, again, is shining down like this. So you have this flower here and then you have the spool. Okay, so then I'm going to boom, light color there. The pencil is such a big object. It's bigger than everything else in the kit. So you want to add a little bit of enhancement there. Boom. And then for the hat or for the hair bow, it's a darker color, more of a muted color than this bright hat that this gentleman has on. For that color, you're going to want to go for something dark. Now just take this, make believe that this is green. Bam. 
So I would go with a green AB for that right there. And then there are your enhancements. So when you look at this image, when you first look at it, when it's all done, you're not going to be so much focused on what's around it. You're going to focus on the points where all the enhancement drills are. So that is the main focus of your, your diamonds whenever you are thinking about what part of my canvas do I want to enhance? Where do you want the viewer to look? Again, what I do is I close my eyes and I open and the first thing I look at, okay, that's what I'm highlighting. Let's do that again. Close your eyes open. Boom. That's the next thing I see. Boom, boom, boom. And for a kit this small, you really don't need more than four. You can even get away with just two, even if it's just the pencil and the, the spool. But I'm extra, so I'm going for the hat and the hair bow as well. But if you have a bigger kit, you can obviously add more stuff to it. Like if you remember L'Amour. L'Amour is the 50 by 70, I believe, that I did from DIY Moonshop. She had sparklers in her lips, the line of the water, around the water, through her bones, on the flower, on her chest. And again, I will have a picture pop up showing you the enhancements of Lamort. So you essentially are trying to draw the focus. Of, and this is like old photography tricks that can go towards, these old photography tricks can go towards adult coloring. It can go towards diamond painting. They're just, they're versatile tips. So when you're enhancing your kit, Again, you want to draw the viewer's focus to the main point. That is what you want to do. So you pick out however many you need. You go over to Tmall's shop. You pick what enhancement drills you want. Usually she's pretty quick to send things out. If not, do keep in mind that the Postal Service is delayed still because of the current happenings of the world. So it might take a little bit to get to you, but be patient. You will get them. But you pick out whatever enhancement drill you want to get for your kit. You get it and you go, okay, where am I putting these drills? Bam, 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 bam. So then when you're complete with this kit, when, a per when you show someone, the first thing they're going to look at is, whoa, how cute is that? The little hedgehog. Look at his bright little hat. And like I said, you don't have to put a whole lot in there. Just a couple, just a little sprinkles of something, just to give it a little bit of glisten. Like it's, it's a kind of like one of those things where it's like, hey, look here. Just like in her hair bow. Oh, look at the little sparkle in her hair bow. Now with AB drills... AB drills will not only reflect light for the actual drill that it's on, but the AB coating will also reflect the light of the drills around it. So if, and if and even if you did sparkle just like eight drills throughout her, her entire hair bow, it's going to sparkle not only the AB, which is going to be like a white color almost, like kind of like the rhinestone, but it will also reflect the colors of what's next to it. So all that green will be reflected and that's what's going to draw people's eye to her cute little hair bow. So that are th those are my tips when it comes to uh, enhancing your kit. Figure out what the main focus of your kit is. Once you figure that out, figure out how you would like to enhance it. Do you want to add jellies? Do you want to, which jellies essentially, with jellies, it's, do you want the AB, but the, the diamond to be a little bit more iridescent? You, you won't really see the diamond a whole lot because the AB drills on here, like, I know these are two different shapes, but take a look. So as you can see, the AB on here is more of a gold color, whereas the AB on here is more of a greenish purple color. You don't really see the color underneath, but you do with the jellies. The jellies will reflect from what it looks like the color underneath it, where the AB drills on a regular drill do not. You will just essentially see the sides of that color. But with the jellies, it looks like you can see the actual color underneath. So it looks like it's showing the light from underneath it. And like you can look through it and see that there is a red behind it. So it's up to you what you choose to use as an enhancement. Whether it's jellies, sparklers, glow in the dark. Even if you were going glow in the dark on this kit. On any kit. What part of this would you want to glow in the dark? Can you take a second and think about it? When it comes to glow in the dark, you want to highlight something. You don't want to just throw glow in the dark here, there, and everywhere. You want to highlight something. Now, you can use it as, say, stars for, like, you know, it's nighttime, so you want the stars to come out, so you can put, like, a sprinkle of the glow in the dark in the sky and then, like, outline the hedgehogs so that you can see the hedgehogs. But then again, you would have to outline the hedgehogs, the pencil and the spool of thread to get that glow-in-the-dark effect that you want. In the, with the glow-in-the-dark, I essentially 
want to highlight something that I would like to see glow, like Into Wonderland, if you remember that kit. Into Wonderland, I had the eyes and the smile of the Cheshire Cat glow. Why? Because if you've ever seen the movie Alice in Wonderland or Alice with Johnny Depp, you would know that when the Cheshire Cat fades away, his eyes and smile stay until they go away at the end. So you, his body disappears, but his eyes and smile stay. So that's what I highlighted in that picture. So in this picture, I would literally, for a glow in the dark, and I don't, I believe she might have glow in the dark in other colors and doesn't just come in 5200. Again, browse her website, take a look, see what you want to do use for enhancements. Also, you can use enhancements from other kits. So say you got a special drill diamond painting and say you got like stars. If you remember, I just finished, uh, what is it? Uh, where stars come from, from DIY Moon Shop. It had crystal stars in it. In those stars, I could, I think I, I have a couple of them saved. So if I wanted to use one of the star rhinestones, I would put it here on his hat. Why? Because they're white already. So I would put two stars right there because it's going to block some of the circles. So you can't put any other drills there. So why not use it to your advantage and use a star right there? Boom, he has stars on his hat. Um, so it's just a matter of preference when it comes to enhancing your kit. I know that was a lot of information to take in. Please feel free to stop, rewind, pause, go back, rewatch, do what you have to do. But this is how I analyze, you know, critical thinking when it comes to glow-in-the-dark drills, AB drills, rhinestones, uh, sparklers, which is, rhinestones and sparklers are, I believe, the same thing. In my mind, they're the same thing because they look like diamonds, except for, like, like, these are, these are T-Moss sparklers. They have the rainbow effect on them, uh, unless you get something like this that's silver, and then it just sparkles like a regular white diamond. So, if you, no matter what you choose, always go for highlighting the main focus of the image. Now, you don't have to necessarily do a complete circle around the hedgehog, but you want to highlight it to make the viewer's viewpoint go to the hedgehogs, to see the main focus of the picture. That's how I do my enhancements. Now, again, I know that was a lot of information. I hope it helps somebody. If it did, how about leaving this coffee a big old thumbs up? Write a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you did. If it didn't, hit the thumbs down button. I, I, I'm sorry. I tried. Anyways, with that said, that's it for me, folks. I've done enough rambling. I think you got the gist of how to enhance a diamond painting if you're interested in enhancing a diamond painting. So, again, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, if there's another video you would like for me to add to the pocket guide to diamond painting, because, of course, this will be going in the pocket guide because it is kind of a tutorial on how to enhance your kit. Um, if there's any other questions you have, because I get a lot of questions and about diamond painting, and I am very happy to make short little videos for you guys for the pocket guide, for, especially for new people. We have so many new people coming into the community. Welcome to all those new folks. Hey to all those veterans, and maybe you'll learn something. Again, if there's any idea, if you have an idea for a, a, a video that you would like for me to add to the pocket guide, please leave a comment down below. Let me know so that I know what you guys would like to see added to the pocket guide. It, the pocket guide the pocket guide grows every week. So with that, again, I, I must bid you adieu. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I must really bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool.